Hey guys, it's Lilo. Welcome back to my channel. So today I just filmed this look. This is a summer proof makeup look. Um, all the makeup that I use in this video is like sweat proof, water resistant, super, super long lasting, long wearing makeup. This is going to be really, really good for you if you're going to go to like the fair or you're going to go to the beach or you are going to go somewhere and it's really, really hot. So like if you're going to go to like on vacation um, you're gonna be out all day this is a really really good makeup look most of the items that I used are 12 hour wear or longer so you should be able to wear them for like the majority of the day but yeah I think it came out pretty good so if you guys want to see how I got this makeup look then just keep on watching open up Okay, so the first thing we have to do is prime our face. So I'm going to be using my Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. This stuff is super, super cool. I like absolutely love it. It's like a little jelly. I love it. Look at It's really sticky. That's the thing. So like once it dries down. Oh, I need to put this behind my ear. Um, but yeah, once it dries down, it's like a super like tacky formula. So it really helps to make your makeup stick, makes it last long. Um, and then you can tell like it starts to get like sticky. So what you're supposed to do is put it on and then let it sit and set on your face for about a minute before you apply your makeup. So I'm going to do that while I do my brows. So today I'm going to be using um, this Milani Brow Pomade. I'm using the shade 5 Dark Brown. So the claims of this product are that it is, you know, defines and sculpts and fills your brows. And then it's long wearing and water resistant. And you're supposed to be able to wear this for up to 16 hours. So that's really good, especially if you're going to be out all day, if you're going to be sweating. Like sometimes brow pomades will start to separate with sweat. So I want to say this was like seven dollars guys like I was I'm impressed let me know if you guys want to see like a full brow routine video because I'm actually just doing like a quickie version today I usually use like five products on my brows <laughs> that's why it takes me so long I could probably feel like a 45 minute video on how I do my brows so if you guys want to see that let me know in the comments and by the way, it does come with like a little brush. So if you don't, I mean, I just, I like my white, like, you know, this is smaller. I like this big one. It's real techniques. This is really cheap too. Chip. It's really cheap. This is really cheap too. So um, if you guys want like a good eyebrow brush, this is a really good one. Real techniques. I want to say it's like $5 or like $10. It's between that range. Most of real techniques is between that range. Okay. I think they're even. Okay, moving on to face. So this is all tacked up now. It's still a little sticky, which is good. You don't want to like let it over dry because then it isn't going to tack as well with your foundation. And then we're going to use a brush to apply this foundation. This is my, um, I got this like for being a rouge. <laughs> I mean, they spent a thousand dollars at Sephora in a year. So I'm going to be using that to buff out my, my foundation, but I'm going to go in with my Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer. This stuff is super, 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 super good. I know I'm using, I'm going to use a lot of Milani, just so you know, because Milani is um, all vegan. Well, not all vegan. They have a vegan tab on their website, but they're all cruelty-free, all natural. And this is a medium to full coverage foundation. So I like my face to be caked up so this is really nice especially when I have like a mountain growing on my face like this one so um it is also long wearing up to 16 hours I believe and it is oil free lightweight and it's also water resistant and sweat proof so I can go my whole day this is honestly the only foundation I can go through my whole day where I don't look super oily like I do have really oily skin so 
it doesn't break up while you're wearing it like sometimes i'll have like separation on my nose and like my like right here my cheeks this is a really really good foundation if you have that problem so i take usually like pump and a half two pumps depending on how much coverage i want and then i'll just dot it all over my face get some more for my forehead or my three head because I have the world's tiniest forehead I literally have such a small forehead it's like literally like okay this is how you know if you have a small or a big forehead so forehead four fingers you <laughs> I look three head it's the worst let's put some foundation on the eyes Stick it down my neck. Perfect. So one thing I didn't mention about this foundation, I don't really know why. I mean, I guess I kind of do know why. Um, so some formula does really well with brushes. Some formula does really well with sponges. This is a foundation that for some reason, if you, if you want fuller coverage, you have to use a brush. Like if you use a makeup sponge to apply it, the sponge just soaks up the product. It's so one thing I do recommend is using a brush first and then going over it with a sponge and buffing it out. Just because, unless you want like a sheer to medium coverage and not a medium to full coverage. I like medium to full. So that's why I recommend doing it the other way. Okay, so we got the face done. We're gonna go in with concealer. I'm gonna be using my Born This Way from Too Faced, the uh, sculpting concealer. Um, this stuff is really, f not really full, well, it is pretty full coverage. It's like um, medium to full, buildable coverage. I just like this, especially during the summer. It's really good for like brightening the under eyes and contouring or highlighting in this case. Let me just do the other parts of my face, down my nose. If you have a three head like me, that's a really good way to get your forehead to not look like a three head. It makes it look like a four head. Honestly, like highlighting and contouring can change you, can turn you from like a five to like a ten, like really quick. Now we're gonna set the face, and we're gonna go on my girl Laura Mercier. That kind of rhymed. So Laura Mercier setting powder obviously is like the OG. Like if you need a good setting powder, it's kind of pricey, but like you get what you pay for. This stuff is the bomb. Okay, I'm gonna go in with the Milani Silky Matte Bronzing Powder. This is supposed to be long wearing. Super pretty. Okay. Always get the double chin, guys. Always. That was like the best hack I ever learned. If you like put bronzer like through here, it minimizes the look of your double chin. All right. And then I'm going to go in with, it's like a crease brush from Real Techniques. It's supposed to be for your eyes, but it's honestly perfect for like sculpting on my nose. So we're going to go in with that. And then I'm going to take a fluffy brush, just like dust all this extra setting powder. And then I'm just going to take whatever's left over in like my lid of my Laura Mercier. And just set my face. All right, now I'm gonna go in with my Tarte Amazonian Clay uh, 12 hour blush. So one thing I do I always tell people to like, or I recommend people do is so like put your blush on like normal like this and then like smile and just dap it on like the biggest part of your cheek because what happens is if 
you smile and then put your blush on your cheeks are already up so then when you're not smiling like your cheeks are down so you want to do it like both like you want to do it both times so that way you look popping next thing i'm gonna do is go in with high thorns it's my favorite part it's literally my favorite part so this is the Fenty Beauty. I'm already going to hit the pan, if you guys can tell. I literally use this stuff all the time. I love it. Um, but this is Hustler Baby. They do make, um, like, the, the duo, the kilowatt duo. Oh, look at that. Uh, oh, I love highlight. They do sell this in, like, a duo, like, in the big one. But um, I got this and a mini um, gloss bomb in like a little set you can get it at sephora it's honestly kind of cool if you, especially if you don't want to commit to a huge like lip gloss um it's like a little mini one it's like this big versus like the big one um and you can get it for like i think it's like 23 dollars 25 dollars something like that i'll like insert like a a little screenshot for her um but you do get both which is kind of nice so that way you can test both out and honestly like you know who i mean i won't say who's gonna use a whole highlight because I use a whole highlight, like a full size one, but um, especially if you don't use highlight a lot or like you just want to experiment, or, like you're just starting out doing makeup, like it's a really good like little starter because it's, it's a little or it's really good if you just need like travel size makeup, like if you need, if you want to have like home makeup and then like a bag in the car or like in your purse, like just to take with you while you're running around throughout your day, it's a really good little investment to have. Okay, next we're gonna set the brows. This is my Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. This is supposed to stay on for 24 hours. It is water resistant. Alrighty, brows all set. Oof! Now I curled my lashes. Before I do my mascara, I am gonna set my face. So I'm gonna be using the Milani Make It Last setting spray again this is 16 hour wear um it can also be used as a primer um and then it says keeps color from fading and settling into creases this stuff honestly will melt all your makeup together i love it and it smells really good i love the way this stuff. I, I honestly sometimes just spray it and i just go like it just smells so good i love it now that my face is set my eyes are curled my eyes are curled my eyelashes are curled i'm gonna be going in this is like the duo that i always use especially if i want like super super waterproof makeup eyelashes that are not gonna move anywhere i'm not gonna put lashes on just because lashes sometimes will peel off throughout the day especially if it's hot and you're sweating and like the glue just like doesn't tack right so if you want I mean, you could do lashes, but like, just be wary of that. Um, so I always use Lash Stiletto from Maybelline as a base for any mascara I do, just because it makes my lashes super long. And then afterwards, I'm gonna go in with my Dior Show Waterproof, um, just because it gives me like volume and like that little fan flutter look, and I love it. I just have to do waterproof because otherwise my lashes go flat. Like, that's the thing. Like, I feel like Drugstore does really good waterproof mascara, and then like higher end doesn't really have a lot of good waterproof mascara that's good for a base now let's go in with do our show waterproof oh, love this gives you really good volume too that's one thing i like about Dior show Alrighty, mascara's done. And get my curls out. This is the final look. Oh wait, I didn't put lipstick on. <laughs> Let's see what lipstick should I use. Okay, so I'm gonna be doing coconut liner and then candy cake from Kylie. Just to give myself some dimension. Okay, guys, this is the finished look. I think it came out pretty good. This highlight, though. 
Anyways, um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys can use this to look super glam this summer without having it melt off your face. Please leave a like on the video and subscribe to my channel. Hit the little bell, you'll get a notification every time I post a new video. But thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.